Christy, you can go ahead. We are on live. Oh, okay. Hi, good evening. Uh, good evening to our fellow OFWs in Singapore and to our families and friends back home and in other uh, parts of the globe. Good evening po, I am Christy Vicentina on behalf of uh, my fellow directors from Philippine Bayanihan Society. Welcome to our fifth uh, webinar series, the Bayanihan Talk webinar series. Now allow me to share with you who we are and what we do. The Bayanihan Center is located at 43 Pasir Panjang Road and was officially inaugurated on August 26, 2001 by then uh, Philippine Vice President Gloria Mahapagal Arroyo. The following year, in December 16, 2012, Philippine Bayanihan Society Singapore became a full member of the National Council of, so of Social Services or NCSS as a volunteer welfare organization in Singapore. And by April 24, 2004, PBSS secured the status as a charity under the Charity Act of Singapore. Our main objective is to promote advancement of education and skills and to provide a venue for the conduct of education, training, and personal development programs for OFWs in Singapore. Currently, the major activities of PBSS revolve around the Bayanihan Center, which has been home for OFWs and FAUs. The center has been available primarily to conduct vocational training courses for Filipinos and secondarily to hold social and cultural events. PBSS or Bayanihan Center currently offers the following services. We are home for the courses offered by the Filipino Overseas Workers in Singapore or FAUs, such as nursing aid, international cuisine, aromatherapy, basic and advanced baking, hotel and restaurant management, cosmetology and tailoring. And home, of course, for the courses offered by Ateneo LSE. We also have Tambayan rooms, meeting rooms, and a state-of-the-art uh, photo studio. We also host a number of Filipino organizations in Singapore by providing postal address through our letterboxes. And of course, we are the team behind the Bayanihan Walk, which started in 2015, and the Bayanihan Lecture, which we introduced last year in 2019, and the Bayanihan Talks that has now evolved into a webinars. That's why we have this uh, for tonight. Now join me, please join me in welcoming our guest moderator for this a very special webinar, uh, Mr. J. Anthony Reyes. Mr. J. Anthony Reyes is a first secretary and consul of the Embassy of the Philippines in Singapore since May 28, 2014. He currently heads the economic section of the Embassy of the Philippines and has concurrent roles as acting administrative officer and planning officer, among others. He is a career diplomatic officer and has served in the Philippine Department of Foreign Affairs since September 20, 2003 or 2003, with prior overseas assignments in Republic of Palau and Sydney, Australia. Mr. Reyes holds a bachelor degree in journalism from the University of the Philippines and studied Masters of Arts in Comparative Literature and Master of Arts in Broadcasting. Prior to joining the DFA, he was a professional writer who did work in advertising, public relations, media relations, corporate communications, and development communications. So please join me in welcoming and thank you in advance to a good friend and a dedicated public servant, Consul Tony. Back to you, Consul. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Christy, for that warm welcome and introduction. Uh, it's, always a, it's always a great pleasure to be with the Philippine Bayanihan Society of Singapore, especially for tonight's forum on investing on, uh, in Philippine retail treasury bonds. Uh, to begin tonight's uh, forum, I would like to uh, invite 
uh, the Philippine ambassador to Singapore, His Excellency Joseph Del Mar Yap, for his remarks to, uh, for this forum. Mr. Ambassador. Thank you, Tony. Um, warm greetings to the Honorable Treasurer of the Philippines, uh, Ms. Rosalia De Leon. And to Mr. Ranveer Singh, Honorary President of the Philippine Bayanihan Society of Singapore. And to all my dear Kababayans in Singapore and all over the world, welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for this uh, webinar. I would like to thank Treasurer Rosalia de Leon and the Bureau of Treasury of the Philippines for this initiative of uh, holding a virtual roadshow for the issuance of Philippine retail treasury bonds Tranche 24, and for reaching out to the Filipinos here in Singapore. I would also like to thank the Philippine Bayanihan Society of Singapore for hosting this e-roadshow. Retail treasury bonds or RTBs are investment instruments offered and guaranteed by the Philippine government. As an investment, RTBs offer a yield that is higher than the interest rate of uh, bank deposits, and at the same time, the government will be able to put your investment in the RTB to good use for nation building projects like the Build, Build, Build infrastructure program and other important projects of the government. In short, RTBs are safe, secure, and guaranteed by the government. They're also higher yielding than ordinary bank deposits, and RTBs also directly contribute to the progress, economic development, and social progress of our country. So by investing in RTBs, we will not only grow our own personal income and wealth, we will also be contributing to the development of our country. So I hope that uh, you as the audience tonight will all pay close attention to the webinar and consider investing in RTBs. We are honored to have the National Treasury herself to make this uh, roadshow for us. So I hope that we will uh, uh, consider seriously investing in the RTBs. Maraming salamat po and mabuhay. Many, many thanks for that, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, this, uh, the issuance of the uh, RTB is, uh, is, is promoted by the, uh, by the Bureau of Treasury of the Philippines, and allow me to introduce the, the Bureau. The Bureau of Treasury is the agency under the Department of Finance that manages and looks after the assets of the Philippine government. It helps formulate the policies and rules on borrowing, investing, and capital market development. Uh, it, uh, the Bureau of Treasury also uh, makes the policies in, uh, for managing cash resources, collecting taxes, and controlling and servicing public debt. Uh, it makes funds available for various government programs and projects. The Bureau of Treasury also administers various funds of the Philippine government. Now about our honorable guest speaker. The Treasurer of the Philippines is the lead executive of the Bureau of Treasury. The current Treasurer of the Philippines is the Honorable Ms. Maria, uh, Rosalia de Leon. She holds a Bachelor in Economics from the University of the Philippines, a Master's in Development Economics from uh, Williams College. Uh, she's she has uh, worked for the Asian Development Bank. I will not cite the years. Uh, and uh, under in the Department of Finance, she has held uh, various portfolios. Uh, she was the director for the International Finance Group. Uh, she was the chief of staff to the uh, Secretary of Finance. And she was the undersecretary for the International Finance Group. Uh, she, uh, she is, uh, this is her second tenure as the National Treasurer. Uh, she was a National Treasurer from 2013 until 15. And uh, then uh, she was, uh, for a couple of years, she was with the World Bank in uh, Washington, D.C. And her current tenure at, uh, as National Treasurer began in 2017. Uh, in Treasurer De Leon's career at the uh, DO, Department of uh, Finance, she has uh, extensive experience 
mobilizing funds uh, for the international capital markets, which include the Philippine Global Bonds, uh, the Brady Bond Exchange, the Samurai Bonds, onshore dollar bonds, and uh, recently the Philippine World Bank CAT Bonds. She has steered several landmark transactions and loan compacts, which include the issuance of peso-denominated bonds, bonds in the global market. And she has also set up the Millennium Challenge account for the Philippines. As national treasurer, uh, Leia has set up, the, uh, has led the implementation of the Treasury's single account, uh, the Treasury single account, which has improved the efficiency and operations of the Bureau of Treasury. Now, without further ado, may I now turn the virtual microphone to, uh, to uh, your favorite national treasurer and mine, Leia De Leon. Ma'am? Thank you very much, uh, Consul uh, Anthony, uh, for the very kind introduction. And of course, uh, thank you, Paul, and to our Ambassador, um, uh, uh, Ambassador Yap for also um, making already the introduction uh, and the sales speech for our uh, opening of the fourth branch of the retail treasury bonds. So um, we also would like to thank the Philippine Bayanihan Society in Singapore uh, for hosting us and making this event possible uh, to bring together all our Kababayans in Singapore to hear our good news now. We are back uh, to offer them an investment outlet um, that is safe, um, that would also provide them with uh, good returns. And uh, not only that, that um, we are also making it uh, convenient and accessible, not only to our domestic uh, kababayan na nandito po sa Pilipinas, but also to everybody, uh, our overseas Filipinos, uh, to be able to put their money uh, in a good and sound investment, but also at the same time to provide them also a vehicle, an outlet to be able to contribute in our nation building um, because lahat po ng proceeds that will be generated from the RTP24, we will be using it um, to, for our requirements um, to be able to, for the recovery programs of the government. Alam po natin, we are all um, right now in this health crisis and there's much work to be done. And of course, that would entail a lot of resources. So um, in the Treasury, we always say po na we are like um, of the familia because uh, trabaho po namin is to make sure na mapunuan lahat po ng pangangailangan ng ating gobyerno. So nandun po na we have to make sure that we have the collections of our taxes uh, na nire-repeat po ng ating Bureau of Internal Revenue, our Bureau of uh, Customs, and um, since we have really po, um, huge uh, spending uh, and expenditures that we need to do, particularly at this time uh, we have this challenge of the pandemic, we have to resort in po to borrowings. And our one way na yung pong ating be able to tap uh, additional resources is coming from our kababayan na who would want also to put their um, earnings to, uh, to some form of investment, but also earn some psyche uh, income because you are also helping us in nation building. So, sana po dito sa RTP24 branch po natin, uh, we'll be able to again have a very warm reception coming from Singapore. Because as I recall, nung pong, um, last year, uh, we also launched yung pong tinatawag po namin Premium Bond. Um, we also went to Singapore for a road show and um, marami po ang uh, mga Pilipino, mga kababayan natin na nagbigay rin po ng tiwala at tulong to make that uh, landmark uh, fundraising uh, a success. And uh, of course, this time, bumabalik po kami uh, for another retail treasury bond naman po na, na for as low as 5,000 pesos, you can invest in this bond. So nasabi po ni Consul Anthony na it is safe dahil this is uh, also um, an obligation of the national government. Um, madali rin po mag-invest because right now 
we are not only using po yung tinawag namin uh, RTBR uh, 23 na platform, which is our ordering platform ng Bureau of Treasury, but we are also now introducing a mobile app, a uh, very friendly, uh, pandemic-friendly uh, mobile app, na with several taps lang, then you'll be able to already uh, make your investment in RTB24. Later on, we have an explainer video uh, that we would like to share with you to see ano po yung mga detalye for you to be able to invest in this product. So, sana po, uh, asamahan nyo kami the, all throughout this briefing to know more about uh, this issue once. And uh, later on, uh, please, uh, we'd like to see your uh, name in our roster of uh, investors from Singapore who are also helping us uh, to be able to mobilize nga po all these resources for our um, uh, budget um, and also uh, for the spending that we need uh, to be able to fight this pandemic. So maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat and look forward to your uh, support for this initiative. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that, Treasurer Leah. Uh, Ma'am, uh, to to get the to get the discussion rolling, for uh, you 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 mentioned that uh, we uh, you you have a video on uh, on RTB twenty four, Yeah. So we have two videos that we'd like to show you. Uh, una po, we'd like to introduce to you the Enzo Progresso. Because Enzo will also provide the details where your money will be going. And at the same time, we have an explainer video on the three ways to invest in RTB24. So if uh, okay lang po sa ating mga kababayan, we'd like to share with you this video, um, dalawang video, si Enzo Progreso at yung pong aming explainer video. Okay. Vid video, please. Hi guys, it's Enzo. Share ko lang yung new investment na Progressive Bonds. Check it out. Easy lang. Mag-invest online or through the bonds.ph app. Pwede ka rin mag-invest through participating banks. Inconvenience? Ano yun? First low was 5,000 pesos. Lalago investment mo in 5 years. 5,000 pesos? Opo. 5,000 pesos. Progressive bonds are a safe and low-risk investment na may quarterly interest payments by the Bureau of the Treasury. I mean... At guys, ang investment mo makakatulong sa pagpapatayo ng mga testing centers para makatulong sa healthcare system ng bansa, sa ating mga OFWs, at assistance para sa mga SMEs. Yeah, guys, sama-sama tayo mag-invest para sa pag-aho ng Pilipinas. Invest in Progressive Bonds now! Sama-sama tayong umahon at umasenso. Mag-invest sa Progressive Bonds para sa bayan. Madali lang! There are three ways para makapag-invest. BTR website, bonds.ph mobile app, at over-the-counter. Para makapag-invest gamit ang RTB online platform, go to www.treasury.gov.ph and click on the RTB24 banner. Mababasa dito lahat ng detalye sa RTBs. Sunod, i-click ang Ready to Order button. I-fill out ang BTR order form with details including your name, amount of investment, birth date, and country kung saan ka nag invest ngayon. Click Submit. You will be redirected to your bank's online payment system. The authorized transaction through the one-time PIN na ipadadala sa'yo via text o email. Congrats! Nakapag-invest ka na! Makikita mo sa screen ang confirmation receipt at makakatanggap ka rin ng email to confirm your successful transaction. Isa pang paraan upang makapag-invest ay ang bonds.ph mobile app. I-download ang app via Google Play o App Store. 
gumawa ng account sa app. Ipasok ang pangalan, email address at mobile number. Padadahan ka ng email para ma-verify ang email address mo. At padadahan ka rin ng 6-digit PIN sa mobile phone mo via text message. Key in the 6-digit PIN in the app to log in. Pero bago magamit ang user actions, kailangan munang dumaan sa customer identification and verification process. Mayroon itong tatlong steps. Terms of use. Account opening in bonds.ph At investors' documents Basahin at mag-agree sa mga kailangang dokumento sa pagbili ng bonds Matapos i-review at i-verify ang application mo, maaari ka nang mag-transact through the app Bago makabili ng bonds, mag-cash in through different payment options Gamit ang Instapay o PesaNet facility ng kahit anong banko GCash o PayMaya o iba pang electronic payment facilities. Ready ka nang bumili ng bonds? Piliin ng bibiling bonds. Congrats! Nakapag-invest ka na sa Progreso Bonds. Bukod sa BTR online ordering page at Bonds PH app, pwede ka pa rin bumili over the counter. Pumunta sa kahit anong branch ng mga selling agent. Mag-fill out ng forms at isubmit ang required documents. Bayaran ang principal amount ng investment. Nakapag-invest ka na sa Progreso Bonds. Alinman sa tatlong paraan ng gamitin, sigurado ang kita. Automatic na ikikredit sa bank account mo ang quarterly interest payments. At sa maturity date, ang halaga ng principal ay automatic din na makikredit. Sama-sama tayong mag-invest mula July 16 hanggang August 7, 2020. Tutubo na ang investment mo, makakatulong ka pa sa pagpupondo ng mahalagang proyekto para sa ating mga kapwa Pilipino. RTB 24, Ahon Pilipinas, Progreso Bonds para sa Bayan. Wow, that's awesome po. Uh, so there's an app that uh, uh, buyers can use to, to purchase the RTB. Uh, it looks so easy po. So the, the app is downloadable from, uh, uh, from Google Store and, and, and uh, Apple, uh, the App Store. Uh, excellent. Uh, Treasurer Leah, could could you tell us about the uh, the, the RTB twenty four? Like uh, like for those who are interested to invest in it, uh, for you mentioned for uh, for uh, five thousand pesos per per share or per unit. Uh, ano po yung returns for the investor? Okay, so uh, una po yung pumating uh, in offer the RTB twenty four. It has a maturity of five years. So for five years, um, you will be earning po yung um, coupon payments and uh, it is fixed for five years. Ang rate po natin, 2.625. So, um, and that is uh, higher than what you are now earning from your time deposit. At, um, ito po quarterly, unlike po sa ibang uh, instruments that you also invest in, which is semi-annual. So, Yung pong 2.625, of course, uh, it's also subject sa final withholding tax of 20%. So, it's around, ang magiging real uh, earnings nyo po is about 2.1%, uh, less the 20% po na final withholding tax. Now, um, yung pong coupon payments uh, would be credited quarterly to your settlement account. So, kung ano man po yung account na pinagbihan nyo po ng, ng RTB, we will also deposit yung pong coupon payments on a quarterly basis. I see. So, ma, when when you said uh, you earn quarterly, what what do you mean by that? Po, by that? Um, so, every quarter po, yung nag-credit po kami sa inyo ng interest, ng coupon payments. So, hindi po siya every six months, kundi po... Um, Every three months, dimi deposit na po namin yung interest earnings niyo. But of course, ang coupon is on a annual basis in two point uh, six two five minus the twenty percent, so two point one percent po yung rate 
And then the 2.1% of uh, the 5,000, it is uh, divided by 4. I see. Uh, I see. Okay. And uh, for OF for uh, Filipinos here in Singapore, uh, how how can we how how do they go about uh, purchasing purchasing the RTB pa? Um, Consul, um, may we also hear now from our um, lead issue managers, uh, ah, okay. representatives from Land Bank and the Development Bank of the Philippines. So we have Mr. Lemuel Imperial from DPP and see attorney Florence Lagaria from the Land Bank of the Philippines. So maybe uh, either Lamuel or attorney Florence can take that question. Are we also have with us uh, Mr. Angelo Abad uh, from the DBT as well. So any of the our three representatives, uh, please go ahead. Magandang gabi po. Yes. Sir, um, good evening uh, sa, in, sa inyong lahat po. There are three, three ways to invest uh, to this uh, RTB24. Uh, one is uh, via the RTB online facility. You just have to visit uh, www.treasury.gov.ph. Doon po may, may choices na kayo to invest through your banks. Sa ngayon po, ang nandoon ay Land Bank, BBP, China Bank, at ang uh, First Metro Securities. And then another mode po would be the bonds.ph. Um, and then the third mode po is over the counter uh, uh, through your branches. Jaan po sa Singapore, uh, I know may, may PNB po kayo jaan at, at meron din po kayong BDO. So kung may existing account po kayo jaan, yung account opening is already settled. But if you want to invest online because you're not here in the Philippines, you can also access yung bonds.ph po. Okay. Yung bonds.ph po is the app, no? App. Okay, so which we okay. So in, in this case, so we download the app uh, from uh, from the app store, uh, entered account, and then uh, we we will be guided through to the procedure. Yes. Yes. I see. Appa. So what about the payment po? The payment would be coming from your um, settlement account po. Doon sa bonds.ph, they, they will choose. Uh, there are several several modes. Yung pong um, cash out na tinatawag. Meron po tayo doon Instapay. There is Pesonet. Um, there is also the uh, Paymaya. Uh, may other modes po doon. Marami kayong options. Uh, Gcash is also one of them. I see. Opa. Uh, can can we hear from the from the other banks, Pa? Uh, more, more about the uh, process, Pa. Uh, there's a, there's a there's a one there's a question, Pa. The uh, uh, it was mentioned that uh, this offer is only until uh, August seven. Uh, is, is there is, uh, is there a possibility that uh, we could still uh, per, uh, go into uh, a purchase before uh, after August seven? Yeah. Hi. Good evening. This is Slam from DBP. Yeah. Um. The the due date uh, the cutoff is August seven, uh, as prescribed by the Bureau of the Treasury. And then that is, it's the discretion of the treasury if they're going to cut it short, no? Um, especially if the, the, the turnout is already as, ex, as um, expected by the treasury. So as of now, the, the agreed uh, uh, cutoff date is August 7. Papa. Okay. But, but for, 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 some, uh, for some persons, uh, the uh, like... Uh, an, an amount the amount might not be available before August 7 so will there still will there still be a possibility or way for them to to uh, to purchase uh, yeah unfortunately sir kapag after August 7 na po kasi you will be able to get a hold of the the bond RTB24 bonds via the secondary market na so iba na po yung pricing that by that time. Oh. 
I and see. Console, and console, if I may add for uh, the benefit then of the uh, our Kababayans, in the second that you can only buy RTBs using the online ordering platform and the bonds.ph app uh, during the offer period. So um, if you want to buy RTBs uh, after the after August 7, na uh, uh, ang secondary market, it's through uh, the banks now or brokers and it won't be available na sa online platform and bonds.ph. But you can uh, sell sa bonds.ph na app if you have existing uh, holdings. I see. Uh, there's a question. Can uh, can non-Filipinos uh, purchase? Um, maaari po if you have a bank account. And the, uh, you mean dual citizen po ba yan? Or is it a purely foreigner? If it's yeah. a purely foreigner po, it should be um resident uh, of the Philippines. So foreign resident. Philippine um with with um Philippine um bank account bank kasi account, kailangan po sure. yung settlement settlement account doon ite credit po kasi yung interest at saka principal so they could contact um the participating banks po especially those with custodianship license like BDO and Nan Bank I see okay thank you Okay, we're still waiting for questions, uh, additional questions. Uh, Treasurer Lea, could you give us a, 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 situ a situationer of the of the uh, of the economy of the Philippines at this time, uh, and uh, why why, and then wh why is this uh, RTB being uh, being offered right now? Well. Uh... Alam po natin, we all know uh, right now uh, we have this health crisis uh, dito po sa Philippines uh, and uh, part of the reason why we have to be raising din po itong RTB is to be able to finance um, the programs uh, that the government is implementing to be able to address uh, the current pandemic. And at the same time din po, we have programs in stimulus uh, and recovery plan that the government will be financing to ensure now we'll be um, uh, be back uh, to normalcy uh, on a on a on a quick and uh, sound uh, path. No, um, it would be a strong uh, recovery that we are envisioning. Uh, right okay. now, we are also implementing po mga programa for our returning overseas Filipino workers. So part of the proceeds. Uh, meron po tayong mga training programs that will be um, provided by our Department of Labor and Employment for our overseas Filipino workers. And also, um, yung pong ating dalawang government financial institutions like Land Bank and BPP, they would also be providing po um, yung pong capital for uh, our overseas Filipinos to put up small uh, businesses. So, uh, yung pong programa ng government is both first to address the pandemic, to be able to stem the rise of uh, the virus, um, be able to have more healthcare facilities, and, uh, and other uh, needed uh, to be able to ensure the safety of our uh, Filipinos, like pagbili po ng testing kits, pagbili po ng mga PPEs and also uh, putting up all these um, hospital uh, and quarantine uh, centers. Pangalawa po, uh, we are also talking here na of course given the pandemic and we had uh, we were the first uh, country to impose a lockdown. We were on lockdown for um, three months, so that also um, took a toll on our economy. So we are also now putting vaccines. Uh, to order, so part of that po, um, would like to create more jobs for those na because of some businesses have closed, so we are um, giving out all these uh, lending uh, programs. And at the same time po, we are uh, providing some uh, subsidies, including po yung pinatawag natin social am amelioration program for the 18 million Filipinos are, who are um, uh, suffering because of uh, they lost their jobs or at the same time they are temporarily out of work. 
we provided in point wage subsidy for those na yung mga formal sector na because uh, some of their um, um, uh, employment opportunities have uh, been stopped. So we are making sure na they have uh, sufficient funding to cover their own basic necessities. So yung po yung mga programa ng gobyerno, but at the same time, this has to be uh, also now um, um, we are shifting something that would be providing more permanency in terms of uh, our return to the new normal. So that entails a lot of um, spending for the government. In the meantime, we would like also to ensure that we have um, the build, build, build program um, continued because the uh, infrastructure development, the construction, all these uh, necessary uh, mga infrastructure, like uh, yung pong ating mass transit, yung pong ating mga expressways. So that would have a um, very strong multiplier effect in terms of um, creating more jobs. So hindi po natin um, hinihinto yung build, build, build program. So again, that would also require huge uh, funding from the government. Because as we also know, as again, the lockdown medyo nag-suffer lang din po yung collection natin ng mga buwis. So we okay. have to... Um, uh, take up uh, some of the slack by borrowing more. Um, but um, good news lang po para malaman din po natin mga kababayan na in spite of uh, nangyari po ngayon sa ating ekonomiya, um, we still have the confidence of our international investors. And in fact, yung po ating credit rating, hindi po siya nababa, na nababago. So while other economies have suffered some downgrade because of the impact of the crisis, it's a different case for the Philippines because um, we were able to maintain our credit rating, meaning there's still the investor confidence uh, that the Philippines will pull out of this crisis um, very strongly uh, because we have the necessary policies, we have the necessary buffers to be able to lift the economy back. So, in fact, yung pong isang credit rating agency natin, yung pong, uh, because we are issuing um, in the samurai market, yung pong yan denominated obligations, they even upgraded us uh, in terms of our credit rating. So, malaki po ang kumpiyansa ng international um, investing uh, community sa ekonomiya po ng ating bansa. Okay. Thank you for that po. Okay, now we have questions coming in uh, from Errol po. Uh, could uh, could we initially invest five thousand pesos now and then gradually uh, increase? Yeah. Um. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't get the question. Uh, yeah. But with regard to the investment, no, the initial investment natin a minimum is five thousand, sir. No, and then. Uh, ang, ang, ang per transaction po, ang maximum ten, um, investment na pwede nilang gawin is 500,000 no, per transaction. Pero po kung if they want uh, in, parang increments po na mas na succeeding this po na mag increase sila ng mga panibagong investments, they can do okay. so po. No? So, but per transaction po, minimum is 5,000 and then maximum po is 500,000 as long okay. as po, within the offer period natin na until August 7. So in the in the subsequent uh, subscriptions, is the interest rate the same for the subsequent uh, uh, subscriptions? Oh, po, sir, yung yung rate po natin is uh, the same from within the period po ng, uh, until August seven po. Okay. A uh, question from Mr. Rocco Santa Maria: How big is the full RTB twenty four series? Uh, can you comment on the seniority of RTB in terms of uh, credit risk? Is it rated at the sovereign ratings of the Philippines? Muna po yung sinasabing how big is the full. So right now, we are still on the offer period, but uh, we're very much uh, pleased with a very warm reception because uh, so far we have already exceeded the amount that we raised uh, sa RTB 23 na 250 billion. So we have already breached that mark. So meaning to say, mas malaki na po yung um, na generate under RTB 24. Now in terms of the um, um, credit risk ito po sa ng RTB, as we have mentioned, this is really an obligation of the national government. At alam po natin na in terms of the obligation of the national government, meron na po tayong tinatawag na automatic appropriation. So 
um, sa ating pong budget, talaga pong nakalaan na ang pagbabayad ng uh, ating mga utang, lalo na po yung mga yung pag, pangungutang po ng ating national government. In fact, sa uh, in the case of our domestic borrowings, kamukha po ng RTB 24, sa Bureau of Treasury, we have set up what we call a bond sinking fund. So, para rin po yun na uh, nagpupuno na kami ng, ano po, uh, ng paano po na mababayaran yung mga, mga redemptions, mga maturities in the coming year. So, the next three years, meron na po kami inilalaan na pondo to make sure na we will have the resources to be able to already redeem and pay the obligation. So, that's why we're saying na um, ang obligation na to ng national government is very safe. Unang-una, this is peso denominated, so wala po kami FX risk dito. So we can always uh, put up the peso to be able to pay our obligations in the uh, uh, na local currency. So and at the same time, uh, this is an obligation of the national government. So this is already automatically appropriated. And as I've said, meron po kayong nakocover na po namin ito ng isang bond sinking fund. So totally, uh, this is really risk-free. Uh, as an investment. Okay, thank you for that, Paul. We have uh, this question from uh, several persons. For uh, Filipinos not residing in the Philippines, does the withholding tax apply? Oh, it applies as well. 20% uh, final withholding tax. I see. Uh, and because the, the amount has to be uh, uh, has to go through a Philippine bank. Yes. So, Na-netted be... out na po yan. So, pagka-credit po sa inyong account na neto na po yan, na-withhold na po yan ng uh, issuer, Bureau of the Treasury. Okay. Thank you for that. Another question, is there an option to roll over the coupon to increase the principal? Uh, no. No. Uh, quarterly po yan. Maka-credit na po talaga sa inyong account. I see. Okay. Uh, so, so for, for our viewers, if you have any questions, please uh, please post your questions. What about um, if if a person needs to pull out the investment, uh, is is that possible? Um, in instrument po na ito ay negotiable and transferable, but you have to contact your your bank. Um, ito na po yung tinatawag nating secondary ano market na po ito. So, nandiyan na po yung market rate na tinatawag. So, kung maganda yung rate sa time na pagbenta ninyo, maaring bumaba or tumaas versus this rate ngayong primary offer po na 2.62 pa. Hello. To, to add din po doon, um, as mentioned earlier, meron po tayong bonds.ph mobile app. So, in, in case before five years, you saw the need to liquidate your investment for cash. You can actually sell your bond holdings dun mismo sa bonds.ph app. And then when you do that, ma makikredit dun sa digital wallet nyo yung um, principal na in invest nyo, subject nga po dun sa market prices. And then pwede na siya, nyo na siyang i-transfer sa any bank account nyo. Only if pag dun ka bumili through the bonds.ph. Okay, so the bonds.ph has, uh, has tools. Uh, that will allow a person to say, you know, pull out if necessary. Yes, yes, sales. Okay, thank you. We 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 have. Uh... Okay, there, there's a recurring question. Uh, wala na bang extension to? At uh, kung Kung extend after August seven, uh, will uh, will will the uh, will the interest rate change? So, um, also, um, our offer period po talaga natin ends on August seven. But uh, to all our kababayan in Singapore, uh, siguro po we've learned uh, our lesson this time na. Uh, even before the offering, baka we have to do already a roadshow. And definitely, uh, for the rest of the year, meron pa po kami isang, we're cooking up something 
yung pong ating tinatawag na premyo bond uh, which we did last year. So abangan na lang po ninyo yung pong um, our next opening uh, for a premyo bond at I think it is also as exciting dahil you don't only get your coupon payments but meron po itong tinatawag na cash and non-cash reward. So uh, for this RTB24, I think you still have enough time to make it to August 7. And um, yung pong aming app at yung ordering platform is uh, very um, easy to follow. So please uh, look, um, take a look at... Um, uh, I'm sure na within the next few days, uh, you it will generate your interest. Then you can um, already invest using those uh, two uh, platforms that we have, particularly for our overseas Filipinos. So, so the premium bonds uh, will be will be offered again. I, I remember last year there was interest because uh, I think for each unit purchase was a. Was like a was like a raffle ticket, and then the prices were, uh, ano, condominium units yata. <laughs> so yes, one school and mas pababa po yung principal five hundred lang you earn a uh, five hundred yon. You're entitled to one uh, parang raffle ticket one unit. So uh, that is something that we're also cooking up. So baka pagkatapos po nito, we might again be going back um, to our kababayans in Singapore and market another uh, premium bond uh, offering before the end of the year. Before the end of the year. Ah. Oh, pero I'm sure marami pong pera na natin <laughs> Singapore. You can spare 5,000 for this RCB24 muna. I see. Okay. Hindi po magandang exchange rate ngayon eh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Ma'am, how, how, what is the target for the, uh, no, for this, uh, for the RTB24 po? Um, Consul, we're not really uh, setting a target, but uh, as I said, um, so far right now, um, natutuwa ko kami because uh, we have a very good reception. We have already um, bridged nga po yung what we have been able to generate last year na RTB23 na on the new money na 250 billion. So, so far, lumagpas na po tayo doon. Um, and uh, for that, uh, we thank all um, our kababayan also na dito po sa Pilipinas and of course overseas who have uh, generously uh, ano po, invested in the RTB24. So, Medyo po ngayon, uh, until the offer period of August 7, uh, we will be accepting po yung mga ano po, subscription, particularly for, from individuals na nag-order po online and during, uh, using our uh, on, um, uh, ordering platform, and particularly for individuals and much more from our overseas Filipinos, of course. Yung po mga kababayan din natin si Singapore and yung pong nasa labas po ng bansa, I'm sure meron din po tayong mga pamilya dito sa Pilipinas na sometimes uh, pinapadalan din po natin ng, ng ating uh, tulong. So maybe um, if you can also spread uh, and also encourage your relatives, your families um, to also invest in the RTB24. Apa. Uh... Ma'am, is there an option to transfer the proceeds from bonds.ph to a preferred bank account? Um, yes, yeah, so um, if you would look at the, the interface of the bonds.ph app, there are cash in and cash out options. So through the cash out option, once you get the proceeds, like yung mga coupon na pumapasok sa, ano yun, pumapasok sa wallet nyo, and yung principal sa dulo, you can simply cash them out through any, to any bank, basta may Instapay or PesoNet Powered or actually sa e-wallet such as Gcash and Kmaya. Tapos real-time po yung transfer. Ng real-time. Instapay okay. is real-time and the digital wallets also. Oh, that's great. But the, does the prefer, preferred bank account have to be a Philippine? Uh, it has to be a Philippine account. Yes, well, it has to be a Philippine bank account. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, there's another question. How long is the account verification process on bond.ph? 
Ah, uh, yeah, if I may add, if I may share no. Um mad- mabilis na naman po yung bonds verifi- yung verification po nung pag-create po ng account no sa bonds.ph. Minsan lang po siguro tatagalan sila kasi yung connection nyo. Pero within po uh, I think last I heard was within within 5 to 6 hours nakakuha po kayo ng verification na okay na po yung account niyo, ready na po for transaction. I uh, okay. to add to that po. Um so um yung usual na time is it takes maximum 72 hours for the verification process on the bonds.ph app. Pero kasi um we are here naman to help our kababayans who, are, who would have problems on their account opening. So you can just um message us sa Facebook po namin. We constantly monitor that. And then we also have our email. It's feedback at treasury.gov.ph. So if maka-encounter po kayo ng problems with opening the account or other processes related to the app, like cashing in and everything, you can just message us and we'll be happy to help you. Nasa chat box po ng Zoom, yung um, email namin. Okay, thank you. Uh, will there be admin charges from the banks and the bonds, the bonds.ph app? Um, so right now po kasi for if we are talking about cashing in from the from the bank so um iba iba po yung fees pero right now po kasi since um we parang narinig natin yung balita na um the banks are actually it's Instapay and PesoNet um relaxing some of the fees right now if you would cash in through um through um any bank that has Instapay or PesoNet triple yung pag cash in and then if if you're going to use the if you're going to use um, PayMaya, five pesos po nominal amount, and then for, for any amount that you cash in, five pesos fixed fee po for PayMaya, and for GCash it's three percent. And and also, um, but for the actual investing in RTBs, uh, there are no charges uh, for that if uh, you will buy during the offer period, and I think that's. Uh, the advantage as well because if you will buy in the secondary market, meaning after August 7, it will be subject to broker fees and other charges that uh, uh, different banks may impose. So for, for the secondary market, how, how around how much will be the broker fees? So what's the usual range? Hello. Um, hi, this is Angela from the Development Bank of the Philippines. Hi, uh, usually for, sec- for secondary market transactions, uh, the, the brokers charge a minimal fee. It may range from uh, 0.25% or higher. So that will depend from uh, broker to broker. Okay. But if you're using bonds that uh, bond.ph, Oh, okay. That's secondary market. Okay, thank you. Uh, for an uh, for an investment of uh, five thousand pesos, the interest is a two point one percent net. Uh, how much then will be paid quarterly and annually to the investor? So it's uh, it's two point six. 25 uh, and then um net of tax it would be 2.1 so if you have an investment of 100,000 you you will um earn an interest of 2625 and the net is 2100 and um therefore quarterly it's about 525 pesos i see okay uh, uh, Ponson, if I may just add, no, uh, uh, I uh, encourage our uh, kababayans to check out our website as well, www.treasury.gov.ph, where uh, they can know more about our uh, the RTB. There's also a yield calculator there where you can compare your uh, returns if you uh, invest, let's say, in a time to pay- deposit versus investing in uh, RTB. So it's a very user-friendly uh, tool that uh, 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 our kababayans can check out. Okay, so please remember that uh, website address, mm-hmm. treasury.gov.ph. Uh, I hope I can remember it. Uh, question po, uh, pwede ba mag over-the-counter payments sa uh, Philippine Remittance Bank? 
You, you mean the PNB, sir, like the one uh, in Singapore, PNB and BDO? Yeah, and uh, um, and then the other other remittances also like yung I remit, uh, Metro remittance. Um, actually, for the PNB and BDO account opening lang po. Pero if you have to do it online because you're not here in the Philippines, you have to do it via ano po, via bonds.ph. Yung sa RTB online, kasi sa ngayon limit ah uh, ilang bangko pa lang po ang nandotoon. Although dadami po yon over time. Sa ngayon po kasi Land Bank, DPP, China Bank, at saka First Metro Securities. Actually, pwede po doon sa First Metro Securities. Kung meron kayong account doon, lahat uh -huh. ng banko pwede doon, RTB online. Pero kung wala po, sa bonds.ph po talaga. I see. Yung over-the-counter naman po, sa branches dito sa, sa Pilipinas, pwede po talaga. Sa mga um, authorized selling agents. What other banks are you uh, are you looking at that will be coming in? The other banks with us for uh, as issue managers, uh, we we are ten banks po kasi. So it's Land Bank, DBP, um, Union Bank, um, Security Bank, RCBC, um, Capital, uh, SB Capital, yon. and then uh, BPI Capital, BDO Capital. Um, did I miss anything there? Yes. First Metro. First Metro. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Um. To add, din po. Right now, for this offering, we have more than thirty authorized selling agents for the RTB. And then this um the list of the selling agents are in our website, din po. Dun siya sa part din na dun yung calculator. And we will we will also be providing this to the embassy so that the embassy and the the Bayanihan Society could disseminate this information, din po. And this okay. will be available we'll do that. our Facebook page. Yung lista natin ng mga banks natin. Okay. okay. Are there any more questions? Treasurer Leia, are there other um, other things that uh, you'd like to impart to the to uh, to our Kababayans here in Singapore, to uh, yeah that will encourage them to invest. Salamat Consul. So um, we hope na during uh, this an hour of this conversation with our Kababayan in Singapore, uh, you have learned a lot of details about our RTD twenty four offering. And um, alam po namin na uh, there are some more information na uh, you would want to also get. That's why uh, we will be sharing with the Philippine Embassy yung pong aming uh, mga uh, videos and at the same time po yung uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, we also have na rin po yung aming explainer video on how to invest. And uh, if there are um, some questions na are still um, on your minds, um, then you can uh, surely uh, send us po yung uh, um, mga questions na yun sa aming uh, Facebook and we also have um, uh, our feedback uh, hotline. Uh, you can send it there and uh, somebody is monitoring it uh, to be able to get back to you revert as soon as possible to be able to answer your questions. Again, um, yung pong um, offering na to, we are doing it uh, to provide nga po yung opportunity uh, for our kababayan to also invest uh, their hard-earned money and at the same time po um, be able to have an, um, a means na tulungan yun po ang, ang gobyerno sa ating pag-aon uh, mula po dito sa uh, health crisis na to. Um, na uh, tulong-tulong po tayong lahat uh, as you have always done in the, all the challenges that we have encountered uh, living within the spirit of bayanihan ng ating mga Filipino. So, but of course, um, we are all always uh, resilient. Philippines is a resilient nation. So, we will rise above this challenge na magkakasama and um, we hope with our uh, this RDB um, your generosity would also uh, provide more uh, wherewithal for the government to really uh, 
implement our recovery program. So, um, ang, una, ang hinihiling din po na in our wish that all our Filipino kababayan and their families are keeping safe and uh, well um, dyan po sa Singapore and um, taking all the precautionary measures uh, to be able to um, um, not get this uh, virus. Kami rin po din sa Pilipinas are also um, one with you na make, making sure na we will um, take care of your own families who are here with us in the Philippines. So, sana po, uh, tulong-tulong po tayo, sama-sama tayo uh, dito po sa paglaban against COVID-19. And uh, as always, um, tayo po naman as a nation will always be very resilient. And um, sabi nga po namin, ang aming tagline dito sa RTB24, um, progress of bonds. So, we have our uh, recovery program na popondohan ito RTB24. So, again, um, Invest na po tayong lahat sa RTB24 na progreso bonds at uh, sama-sama rin po tayong pag-ahon uh, dito po sa crisis na hinaharap po natin ngayon. Maraming salamat po, Consul. Maraming salamat kay Ambassador. At maraming salamat lalo na po sa lahat ng kababayan natin na sumama po ngayong gabi sa amin. And of course, we'd like to thank the Bayani, uh, Philippine Bayanihan Society in Singapore for hosting us tonight. Mukhang nag-end na yata ako. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, ma'am, may... Uh, this this usually happens po. Na may may paha, may questions na pahabol po. Ay, of course. Uh, we can okay. stay up with you. Uh, no, apparently, some people have tried downloading the the app na po. No? So, there's a question. They, the people have noticed that the uh, app was developed by Union Bank. So, there's a question... Oh, Uh, po, powered by Union Bank. So this uh, uh, is this the, the uh, is uh, is an account with Union Bank necessary to, uh, to use this app. Uh, Consul, uh, if I may just uh, clarify, no, uh, we um, we mentioned earlier that you can cash in the app via via different uh, channels like Instapay. PesoNet, PayMaya, and GCash. So regardless of your bank account, uh, you can cash in sa bonds.ph which you can use to invest uh, in RTBs. Now, um, uh, it says powered by Union Bank because we have uh, yung uh, National Registry of Scribless Securities here in the Treasury, here in DTR. That's where all the, the uh, holders or the investors of the RTBs are reported. And uh, because when you invest in RTBs, there should be a sponsoring uh, 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 bank or broker in our registry. So in that case, it will be uh, Union Bank who will be setting up the account for the investor. But uh, doesn't mean that you need to open uh, an account with the uh, Union Bank because All of the proceeds, meaning the coupon or interest payments that you will get quarterly, and even the principal uh, come maturity date, uh, will be uh, credited to your bonds.ph uh, uh, account. And then from there, as explained earlier, you can cash it out uh, via the channels uh, mentioned at Instapay, Pesonet, PayMaya, and GCash. To your respective or to your uh, preferred uh, bank account. So yun lang po yung uh, ibig sabihin. Okay, thank you. And then one one person has noticed that uh, the uh, the interest rate of RTB24 is lower than the uh, preceding uh, RTB offerings. Uh, uh, is this to be exp is Is uh, is this a an indication that uh, 2 to 2.5 percent per annum will be the prevailing rate of RTBs in the coming pandemic years? Oh, di ba? Uh, kasi po yung naman po uh, RTBs, they are market based, market determined. So paano ba ho namin? How did we arrive at the coupon of 2.625? So yung pong coupon na yan. Um, na determine when we have the auction. So in auction po namin yung pong uh, RTB offering uh, 
during the per primary sa during the our primary issuance kasi nga primary issuance po to so ang na settle na coupon or interest rate ang, ang coupon set for, for this offering is 2.625 now bakit mababa po yung ating interest rate ngayon than um our previous prior years offering as we all know po ngayon um given nga po yung inflation in the Philippines is already relatively benign it's around 2.5% so, and at the same time, yun din pong ating central bank, it has also reduced yung tinatawag pong policy rates. So, binaba na po nila from um, the previous uh, year by about 175 basis points. So, yung policy rate po natin ngayon is at around 2.25. So, nagbababa na talaga po ang interest ngayon po sa bansa, sa Pilipinas. So, na medyo bumaba na rin po yung interest yung coupon for this offering. But it doesn't mean na sa susunod po mga offerings sa RTB, maseset na po yung sa 2.5 dahil pababa ng pababa. So it is still ho, uh, market determined. So depending po, so ano po yung prevailing market rates when we issue the RTB. But hindi ho kayo talong-talo dito dahil as I said, ang real uh, return nyo pa rin po, 2.625, then you deduct the inflation of 2.5. So meron pa rin po kayong a real positive uh, rate of one, uh, 1.25. Okay, that's very good to hear po, uh, Treasurer Leia. So, um, okay, we've, uh, we, we've reached the, the end of our, of our forum. Uh, Treasurer Leia and uh, our representatives from uh, DBP and uh, Land Bank and the other and other partner banks, uh, on behalf of the uh, Philippine Bayanihan Society in Singapore and the Embassy of the Philippines in Singapore, we'd like to thank you for, uh, uh, for undertaking this uh, e-road show on the RTB24 here. So we, we hope uh, we, uh, we take to heart your, your, your uh, up, uh, encouragement, po, uh, Treasurer Leia, that uh, uh, Okay, this, uh, this, this offering is to, to help the Philippine government uh, respond to the COVID-19 pandemic in the Philippines, as well as to, uh, continue, uh, to add to the momentum of the Build, Build, Build uh, infrastructure building program. Pa. So, thank you, Pa. Uh, Christy? And thank you to the Ambassador and the Philippine uh, Bayanihan Society in Singapore, Pa. And yes, I'm thank you. Sample, until the next offering. <laughs> yes, thank you, Coach Tony. Again, uh, maraming maraming salamat po uh, for joining us. Uh, those who joined us in the Zoom, thank you. And those who failed to join us uh, in the Zoom and are watching with us at Facebook, maraming maraming po. At yung mga katanungan niyo po na naitanong natin, kung may naiwan pa po, uh, Definitely, uh, all the resource person can come back. Meron pong sumasagot din doon. And we can help to come back. So to just to summarize uh, those uh, other uh, questions that we may have missed, uh, let me just share na tama po ba, treasurer, na if you hold your uh, investment until maturity, protected po yung principal ninyo. And then, uh, different po siya from the savings, the regular savings na pwede kang nagtatap up anytime. But if you want to add investment, you can always go to the secondary market. And they can go to the uh, bonds PH where a secondary market is uh, naka-program po doon. And then, if you go through the uh, app, you can use other Philippine banks. And upon maturity, all your uh, proceeds, maturity proceeds, will be credited, credited to the app, but you can actually transfer the funds back to your original settlement bank. And then for, for the PNB, uh, if I may answer as the general manager of Philippine National Bank in Singapore, if you have other questions, feel free to call us and we will be happy to help you. Just the way we did with the premium bonds, uh, 
Uh, of course, uh, PNB is also part of the banks helping for this uh, issuance, and we will always be happy. And allow us for, to say thank you to the people who have helped us uh, put this webinar together in a very, very short time. Um, of course, we have a core team uh, with Mark Hong. Thank you, Mark. You've been very, very helpful. And Consul Tony, syempre nandyan ka. Uh, Ed Binluan, our technical guy po. And also our uh, board of director from Philippine Bayanihan Society. And the center manager, Cecil Ojena and Mindy. Thank you for patiently taking all the orders uh, left and right. And uh, we were able to put this uh, webinar. And we hope that marami pong natutunan yung mga kababayan natin. And our regular uh, partners who shared uh, and invite their members to join us for this webinar. Of course, nandyan po yung CDE, FAST, FLPH, uh, BNG, Ateneo LSE, UP Alumni Association, NEPTPIL, and of course, nandyan po yung Philippine Embassy. Maraming maraming salamat, Ambassador uh, Yap, uh, for uh, your generous time and for helping us also to share the invite through uh, the Embassy Facebook and through um, uh, sending invites to the Philcom organization. Maraming salamat. This is truly uh, a bayanihan work. Uh, despite the short time, we were able to pull this up together for for the Philippines, of course. And thank you, maraming maraming salamat. It is an honor to meet you, uh, e-meet you, uh, treasurer, uh, Miss Rosalia De Leon. Uh, ka, we're truly honored to, to meet you. And we hope to see you uh, in person in the coming days. And on behalf of my fellow directors, of course, uh, our president, Ranveer Kumar, they are on the Facebook, our president, Ranveer Kumar, uh, fellow director, Ning De Guzman, Edward Binluan, Marianne Shua, Minor Balao, maraming maraming salamat po on behalf of Philippine Bayanian Society. And join us again. Our next webinar po will be on uh, August 6, and I will be um, uh, sharing some knowledge with you. Uh, if you have more questions about the uh, um, Treasury bonds, I will be happy to share additional information uh, when we get there on August 6. So, meron pa po kayong isang araw to decide. Anyway, madali lang naman po mag-invest. May app po or meron naman pong uh, tutulong sa inyo. We have two banks here in Singapore. So, join us on August 6. That's uh, uh, August 6, 2020. So, that will be another Thursday. And we will discuss uh, how to protect your uh, personal finance in times of pandemic. Kasama na po dyan yung mga teachings on how to um, prevent ourselves from being scam. So join us again on August 6. Maraming maraming salamat po ulit. Back to you, Consul Tony. Oh, and uh, thank you very much. And uh, okay. Good night, everyone. Stay safe and uh, stay well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Treasurer Leah. Thank you very much.